listen to Let's Fix It with Shanata. Sit back, relax, and take some copious notes as we provide you with some awesome solutions to your financial matters. Invite your friends and family to join us. And if you're watching this live, like, tag, share. Sharing is caring. I am Shanata Harris, your financial specialist, offering solutions to your financial matters. And welcome to Let's Fix It with Shanata. Sit back, relax, and take some copious notes as we provide you with some awesome solutions to your financial matters. Invite your friends and family to join us. Uh, if you're watching this via live, Facebook, like, tag, share. Sharing is caring. I am Shanata Harris, your financial specialist, offering solutions to your financial matters. Get excited because I'm so pumped up this week, you guys. I am talking about a few things that are going to help help you along your financial journey. But before I get into today's topic, I just want to thank you all for being a part of my two-year journey in financial education services. This month, I am celebrating two years in business, and I'm truly, truly just overwhelmed and amazed at the number of people I have been able to assist. So I totally enjoy what I do, and it's indeed a pleasure to be a blessing to watch the stories unfold as people go through their financial journey. That is as far the most rewarding experience outside of my personal journey. I'm humbled to serve you and our community across the country with solutions to your financial matters. So stay tuned as I'm working on some more services to bring to you to be able to assist you in your financial matters. So today's topic is ways to use your income tax return. And I know a lot of people just can't wait for the income taxes to hit, your W-2s to come into the mail, for you to be able to go out shop and invest and do some things and you know we had been talking about the last half the last quarter of the year about benchmarking our vision boards and our goals and so I thought that today's topic would be totally intriguing to have this discussion and then perhaps next week or within the next couple of weeks bring to you a tax expert to give you some insight on how to maximize your tax return so you can get a decent refund okay so let's get into some ways to get some ways to use your tax refund so this is going to give you some ideas on how to use utilize that that money so one, I want you to know paying down your debt that you've accumulated. So like if you have charged up some charges, charge cards, credit cards over the holidays, now is a great time to um, start paying some of those down. And the way you want to do that is um, stay, of course, 30% of that limit. So if you've got a $1,000 card, you want to spend no less than $300. You want to keep that payment down to that much um, in order for you not to impact your credit score. So pay down some of that debt. But the great thing about it is that when you do this and you follow this method, it's going to help increase your credit score. Also, look at paying down the highest interest rate on your credit cards first. So if you have like two credit cards and one credit card interest rate is at 19% and the other one's at 9%, you want to pay that 19% down first because it's going to save you some money in the long run as you go through the process of paying down your debt. And it will be most beneficial to you in the end. Also, 
put aside some emergency savings. A lot of people don't have money for just in case something happens. You know, we always come up with different things that might happen via you have a, a sudden house emergency where the furnace went out or the car needs some repairs or you have to suddenly go cross country for a funeral. You don't have the necessary emergency savings for the just in case something happens. So this is a this is a way to put you in a position to start having savings. We talked about a few weeks ago different ways to save. So this is another way to start accumulating some funds. Fund your IRA if you don't have those particular things in place. Invest in stock. A lot of people don't believe in the stock market, but find you a professional and take a portion of your money and start making your money work for you. You want to do things that's going to grow your money, not necessarily always spend it where you don't have a return on your investment, right? You want to make sure that you're working hard you work hard for your money, so you want your money to start working smartly for you. For those of you that have been contemplating starting a business, if you have some extra cash from a refund, this is now your opportunity to invest in a business. And then, of course, my favorite that I can assist you with, repair your credit. Repairing your credit is going to put you in positions to buy homes, cars, at lower interest rates. Um, these are great ideas to assist you. Um, if you have a child that's getting ready to graduate and go off to college, now is the time to start putting aside money. And then, of course, benchmark that particular goal for your child because you're always going to have different expenses that come up if you've got a graduating senior. What do they have? Like, Senior dues, senior pictures, prom, homecoming, and the list goes on and on and on. So depending on whether you have a boy or a girl, the, the expenses can vary. But if you break those things down into smaller chunks, they don't seem so big in the end. And then you're not scrambling of, oh, my God, how am I going to make this thing happen? This way you've already properly planned and put things in, in um, perspective for that particular event. Home improvements. If you're in need of roofs, um, a new furnace, um, painting, um, just different things with inside your home that, that, that need to be replaced. Now is a good time to do that. Replacing broken appliances. If you know your refrigerator might be on its last leg or that washer might be on its last leg, now is the time to invest in that money because you now do have that disposable income at your fingertips. Invest in yourself. And that does not mean go out and buy some Jordans or go buy a new Louis Vuitton purse. But invest some time for you. Self-care. Self-care is very important. If you're that type of person that's always on the go and you never take time to enjoy a moment of, of relaxation for yourself, that is totally, totally important to be able to embrace yourself in some care. Family vacation. If you've never taken one, that would be a great opportunity for you to explore other different parts of the country um, or even outside the country for that matter. Take your family on a vacation. Give everybody an opportunity to relax, fellowship with each other as a family on a vacation, right? And then, as I stated before, make your money work for you. And for those business entrepreneurs that might be contemplating various things to do with your refund, you are always welcomed here at Worship Media Group to um, get your advertising needs taken care of. Whether you need a billboard or you need flyers, we are here and available for you. Um, and if you're interested in getting your book published, 
we are here to service you here at Worship Media Group, which is um, a part of Worship Radio International. So we will be more than happy to service you. So if you'd like to inbox me for more details, please do so, so I can put you in touch with Prophet Blaine so he can get those things already in place and orchestrated for you. You would be surprised at the various packages that are available to advertise and promote your business because definitely we want to see you grow your business and win. Let's talk about discipline because discipline is something that we are going to need in order to make conscious decisions about how to utilize our money. And Webster's Dictionary explains discipline as to it's a it's a trained a trained method to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment to correct the disobedience. So the synonyms for that is train, drill, teach, school, coach, educate, regiment, indoctrinate. Lay down the law to someone. Bring into the line. So these are the things that I've just given you. I'm training and teaching you different ways to utilize your money in a way that's going to be most beneficial for you. And of course, ultimately, you have that final say so. But just think about it. Now, I want to put some other um things in your head some thoughts are you willing to make that sacrifice be honest with yourself uh change your spending habits put your credit cards here's another thing if you are bad with spending put your credit cards in the bottom of the freezer this will teach you some discipline because basically if your credit card is out of sight out of mind your debit card is out of sight out of mind you're less likely to spend the money right Keep a budget, track and use benchmarks. Once again, 30, 60, 90 days. Track how much you're spending. Have conversations with your spouse and your family to make a plan of, okay, this is what we've got coming in. This is what we're going to do. Have a plan. Buy groceries and cook. Not tap into your savings. Learn to say no. So sometimes, you know, our kids are like, mommy, mommy, I got to have this new new game that just came out, or I got to have the latest pair of Jordans, or I got to have the latest this, that, and the other. Learn the word no. It's okay to say no. A lot of people don't like it, but it's a part of the English language, and I think it's one word that we need to sometimes use a little bit more frequently. Also, learn to follow through and follow up. This is going to assist you with meeting that goal of whatever it is you set out to do. Short-term sacrifice for long-term gain. So sometimes we have to sacrifice certain things in order to get some of the things that we want to do. Agreed? So back to the discipline. It's okay to treat yourself. You know, like I said, self-care is totally important, even treating your family. It's best to put some things aside, especially if you don't have a substantial savings or a savings at all. And I do suggest a money market CD that will make money for you. So you want to check with your banking institutions for rates on those particular products. I want you to develop better habits or better methods to save money because the average household does not have $500 in savings. So they don't have money in a bank account or somewhere that they can get money if they needed it for whatever it is that they might need it for. So we've got to change our mindset and our habits in order for these things to come to fruition and in some instances it's going to cause you to develop some frugal spending moments and habits 
you know, I find myself saying, oh, I don't need to do or I don't need to go and buy X, Y, and Z. I need to just wait. Like, sometimes it's nice to go to the mall and go shopping and and I'll go and I'll scope out different things. Oh, this is new. I don't have to necessarily have it at that new, brand new, full price tag that it comes out in. However, I'll wait till mid-season or a very good sale. And then if it's something that I just can't live without, then that's when I make that purchase. But never, when it first come out, why pay full price for something that you know eventually is going to go on sale and you'll be able to get at a discount rate? There's really nothing that I've got to have at this particular moment that I can see that I got to go pay full price for an item. And this will save you money as you develop these types of thought patterns and habits. Same principle applies to if you are getting an annual bonus profit sharing checks even that will be awarded soon for UAW members. Develop a plan as to what you're going to do with that money because it'll come and it'll go just as quick as you got it. So I have a, I have a couple quotes as I normally do. Discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want more. So I'm going to say that again because I know somebody else needs to hear this. Discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you want more. That's deep. Here's another quote. You will always be motivated. You have to learn to be disciplined. So disciplining ourselves is it takes action it is a verb there has to be behavioral changes in that motion as we go through it right in order for us to maintain the habits or to change some habits that we have you know some of us like to spend and shop and I'm like the best of them I like to shop too and I like nice things and I like to eat nice places and I like finer things however are they a necessity or is it just something that I just want and a lot of times we have to decide is it a want or is it a need Should we feed our wants or should we feed our needs? You have to make that decision. And it's an important decision to make. And the game changer in this all is learning to set that action plan or set that goal. Write that goal down and break it down. As we've talked about it before, the 30 days, the 60 days, the 90 day benchmarks. And it will help you um reach your goals and it'll hold you accountable for what you're trying to achieve um for those of you that need to get in contact with me um my phone number is 734-752-8818 and you can follow me on facebook at shanata m harris and my instagram is shanata my email is let's fix it with Shinata at gmail.com and my website is www.shanataharris.com. Now, I am looking to speak at various networking events, churches, organizational meetings as well. And I do encourage you to book me for small businesses. That is totally awesome for me because it helps me offer benefits to employees that might be looking for the type of services that I personally offer. And then the best speaking engagements for me are large groups because I am able to share this information to the masses. And this particular year, we are doing as a group something very very special and it's called mission 20k 
we are helping 20,000 families in 2020 get back on track and reach their financial goals. And this is near and dear to my heart because last year I did an Empowerment 500. And so this year to participate in this particular movement is going to be impeccable. And I want you, if it's not for you or if you know someone that this program can help, we want to be able to reach out to those people and start empowering and empowering them with the necessary information to get them on their journey. I want to be able to assist to get people on track for home ownership, to get them in the network of realtors that can help put them in homes, the homes of their dreams. And if you follow my lead and take my advice, We'll be able to make sure this happens this year. And I just want to be a blessing to someone in order for this to come to fruition. Because it is definitely something that um, is just a powerful thing for us to do. Now, I do have a very, very special announcement. Um, A couple of weeks ago, I had the opportunity to participate in what was called Dialed Up by Jewelry by Darnishes. And what she does is she is doing a vision board, basically, and calls it Mirror Reflections of You in 2020, Bling Mirror's Vision Party. This is my vision um, mirror. It's beautiful. I made it. I'm excited. And I was able to put affirmations on it, plus jewelry, bling it out. And this is just a little session that she has. Um, She's doing her very last one Saturday, January 25th, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at St. Suzanne Cody Rouge Community Resource Center at 19231 West Chicago, Detroit, Michigan, 48228. And you can find the event on Eventbrite. Take your girlfriend. Get in contact with Darnishes at darnishes at gmail.com. And in the event that you did not um, get all that information, I will tag her information up in the live Facebook post later this evening. But I encourage you, if you are, um, have a small group or of ladies or even just you and your daughter, this is a great project because it is just, it's a relaxation type project, but it gives you an opportunity to be creative with a whole bunch of women. You get to eat, break bread, and fellowship, and she's going to have a motivational speaker there. And it's a whole lot of fun. So if you guys have been doing painting with a twist or blinged out wine glasses or some of the other activities that they're doing, the different parties. This is a great party to participate in. I had a lot of fun. And I took one of my girlfriends too. So um, I do encourage you to attend that event. And then coming February 1st, I'll be participating in a first-time home buyers seminar. So if you are a first-time home buyer or you want to become a home buyer, Meet me at the Northwest Activity Center on February 1st at 3 p.m. We're going to give you the necessary information that you need to get qualified for a home. From credit to mortgage lenders will be there on hand to assist you with various programming to qualify for home ownership. So once again, mark your calendars for February 1st, which is a week from this Saturday at the Northwest Activity Center. So meet me there. Can't wait to meet you. So my last quote before we close out the show is listen and do. It's up to you. And with that being said, I want you to have an amazing week. So until God says the same, see you next week.
You are listening to Worship Radio International, the world's number one online Christian radio station. Check out our website at www.worshipradio.faith or follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Worship Radio INT. This is the future.